Hey everyone, welcome back to version 112, glitches and exploits for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to mass delete boxes of Pokemon. If you guys have been doing the cloning exploits and you have tons of leftover Pokemon, or if you guys have been breeding tons of Pokemon and you got loads of leftovers or rejects that you want to get rid of really quickly, this glitch is for you because you're going to be able to erase them in an entire box instantly and it's going to be very, very easy to do over and over again to get rid of all your boxes in the space of about one or two minutes. So let's show you guys how it works. We are going to be using the menu glitch for this and we do have a slight improvement to the menu glitch for version 112 now which will probably a little be a little easier for people just a little bit i'm just going to show you what i got in my boxes that i want to get rid of you are going to need at least one empty box to do this and i got about one two three four boxes of dittos that i want to get rid of here so just for demonstrations guys i'm going to get rid of these four boxes or three boxes of the four of dittos here okay and i got my one empty box that i need to do this so let's go ahead and activate the new the menu glitch all right so the menu glitch usually uses the pokey center but there's actually a new way to do it if you want uh, we can go out to any body of water anywhere and this will pass the escalator step on the pokey center section so let's just go standing here and facing away from the water so we don't accidentally hit a on it open your pokech like before and hover your hand over fly spam r and a at the same time until you get the glitched menu and you're able to move around just like that, okay. And you'll know it's kind of glitched by the way it goes up and down very, very fast the last time. Hit right or hit whatever direction you need to face the body of water and make sure you're not hovering over any land. So you can use the right joystick to do that without moving your character. I'm gonna hit A so I can surf. Would you like to surf on it? Hit yes. And that is going to do the same effect as going up and down the escalator to allow you to open your menu. I'm going to just get off the land now by hitting left, the opposite direction. And now we can open our menu, as you can see. But that's the first tier of menu. So now we're going to have to do the fly section here. We're going to hit on, a, on, a, on any city, any city, hit A, X, like that. And you'll be able to do the exact same thing that we were able to do before. We're going to go ahead and fly to a city and we're going to have our menu open. And that is going to be the new menu glitch. Voila, we've done it. So now I recommend going indoors for the next part because we're going to probably be hitting Y so we can change our selections in our boxes here. So just hit, go into go indoors. So by going indoors, you're just going to not open up the global menu screen when you're outside, which happens by hitting Y. So we're going to bypass that by being indoors. Now we can go ahead and start deleting our boxes. So let's go into our boxes right here. And we're going to hit Y to do the multi-select. And as you can see, okay, so we're going to use box 12. I'm going to use box 13 here. So let's go ahead and highlight all my Pokemon in box 13. I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to bring them over. I'm going to bring them over to the empty box like this. Hovering over the empty box, I'm going to hit X. I'm going to go into Pokemon again. I'm going to hit R. And now we're in our boxes again. And I'm going to go down to the box list. So we did pick up box 13 and we brought box 13 to hover over box 12. So we can't use box 13 right now. We're gonna go ahead and use box 14 and we're gonna hit Y so we can swap box 14 with the box 12 that we were hovering over. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Swap them out, hit B, hit B again, hit B again, hit B again, and drop the dittos from box 13 on top of the newly swapped box 14. And that, essentially, guys, is going to have gotten rid of the box Thir 13, is it? So let's have a look. Box 13 is there. No, it got, we got rid of box 14 because we swapped it with box 12, okay? So we used box 13, we selected them all, and we hovered over the empty box, and then we brought box 14 here and dropped our 13 on top and got rid of box 14. And now we can just do the exact same thing again. Let's go ahead and multi-select and bring them to the empty box. Let's hit X, Pokemon, boxes once more. So now we're hovering over 13, which you have to remember, and we're using box 14, which we can't use now. So let's go ahead and get 15 and swap it with box 13. There we go. Back, 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 and drop. Perfect. And we can just hit back out of there. Let's do it again to get rid of the last box of dittos I wanted. So again, multi-select. Hover that over an empty box. 14 is now empty. And we hit X again. Pokemon, boxes. And let's look at our box. So we're hovering over 14 this time. And we still have 16 to want to get rid of. So let's swap that with 14 right now. Back, back, back. 
and drop. Perfect. Okay, that's it. We just got rid of the three boxes I wanted to delete very, very quickly. Now let's have a look at what we have left. Uh, we have 16 here, and all the boxes that we swapped out are now empty. The next one's here, 15, 12, and 13 are all empty now. And 14 there. So we just got rid of tons of Pokemon really, really effectively and really, really quickly. And you guys can do the same thing if you want to get rid of all those dupes, all those leftovers that you don't need and don't want anymore. Happy hunting, guys. I hope this helped you. Good luck with your cloning business and your breeding business. And now you have a much easier way to get rid of these. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Drop a sub if you're new. And I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, guys. Bye.